you so much for joining me here again today. We're going to be doing an awesome 40 minute full body hit and strength training workout. This workout will consist of four different rounds and each round will be 10 minutes long. The workout itself will be 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. And round number one will consist of hit training only so it's and a fantastic way to get the heart rate going, get the calories burning, Re you're really going to sweat. And the second round will be targeting the upper body and core. The third round will be targeting lower body and core. And lastly, round four will be a repeat of round one, so back to the hit. The equipment you're going to need is a pair of weights. I'm going to be using weights anything between four and ten kilograms as well as a kettlebell. I'm using an 8 kilogram kettlebell. If you have a heavier one, that's fantastic. If you don't have a kettlebell, don't stress, you can use your weights as well. You're going to need a chair or a box to elevate yourself up from, as well as a pair of sliders. I'm using my tea towels. You can use paper plates or container lids, depending on your floors. And lastly, you're going to need a balancing ball. Now, if you don't have a balancing ball either, don't stress. You can do the movements off your floor and you can even do it elevated up on something a little higher than, well, higher than the floor itself. So, yes, so those are the things that we're going to be needing. And you're definitely going to need a sweat towel and you're definitely going to need some water. So as I always say in all my videos, guys, try and protect your spine. Be aware of your form and be conscious of your movements throughout your workouts. It's really, really important. So, grab your sweater, grab your water, and let's get started. Okay, everyone, are you guys ready? Nice and warmed up. We're going to be starting with the first 10 minutes of hit worker. It's going to be crazy. I'm a little bit nervous. But it's okay. We're going to get, I'm going to give it my best. You're going to need some water. I'll grab some water in a moment. But first we're going to start off with full burpee. I'm going to set my timer and let's get going. I've got 10 seconds before we start. We're going to start with a full burpee with a push-up. Are you guys ready? 50 seconds. And go. Keep your back straight. Into your push-up. Bend your knees slightly. And jump forward. And again. Keep going. Keep your back straight. When you come up from your burpee, look forward and jump up. Keep your weight 
on your heels, keep your back straight, keep going, almost there guys, 12 seconds,
one squat jump. Here we go. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. Keep your weight on your heels. Push your bum back. Pretend you're sitting on a chair. And really power up, power up. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, get low, guys. One, two, jump. One, two, three, jump. Oh, it's burning. Two more. One more. Two, three, jump. Oh, well done, guys. Last hit for this round. We're going down to mountain climbers. Okay? It's your plank. I'm sure all of you know your mountain climbers. Keep your shoulders activated. Try and keep your bum and your back and your legs in a straight line. Core tight and breathe. If this is too much, just bring your knees into your chest and really push. Really crunch those knees. But this is the hit round. So push yourself, guys. We've got 10 seconds left. You can do it. Thank you. 
set down. Go as low as you can. Don't touch the ground. Try making zigzags as wide as you can. And don't come to 95 degrees. I mean 90 degrees. Challenge yourself. Go a little bit lower. The lower you go, the more you activate your obliques, your psoas muscles, which is excellent for stability. Okay. And don't forget to breathe. If your back is lifting off the floor, put your hands underneath your bum for more support. Brilliant. Okay. Great. Now, great. Grab your weights. This is a bit of a tough one. So good for the arm muscles. Get into your push up. We're going to do two push ups. One, two, and then tricep pull backs. One, two, three, four. And again, two push ups. One, try to touch your nose on the ground. Two, Woo. one, two, three. Really pull the tricep back. Try to keep your body as stable as possible. Woo. Oh, it burns. One, two, three. Last one, four. Excellent. Push-ups and pike push-ups. So keep your feet hip-width apart. 
You're going to come down with your back straight, walk into your plank, keep your back flat, into your plank, push your bum down, push up. Now you're going to go into pike position, push your bum out, and pike push up. And again, repeat. Straight back, set your nose on the floor, and walk up. Straight back, and push up. Keep going, guys. Push up. Great for those well developed, well shaped muscles on the upper body, giving your body that nice triangle look. Okay. Okay, grab your, you don't need anything to elevate yourself up, I'm going to be using half ball, I mean my balancing ball. Come onto your side, lift yourself off, and now we're going to crunch, okay, and dip, and crunch, and dip, and crunch, and dip. Keep going, keep your body nice and straight. Don't lean forward, don't lean too back. Whoopsie, like me. Feel your center. As I said before, you don't need to use anything to elevate yourself off from. But when you're ready, try and get something because it really, really becomes a lot more challenging. Whew, well done. Okay, guys. Now you're going to grab your weights again. We'll come back to the other side in a moment. Grab your weight. Now we're going to bend over slightly. Bend your back properly. Keep your weight on your heels. We're going to bend over, look forward. We're going to squeeze, squeeze the shoulder blades. Squeeze the shoulder blades. And then we're going to do two bicep curls. And squeeze. And one, two, and squeeze. And squeeze. One and two. And bicep curl. Bicep curl. Squeeze the shoulder blades. If you feel any weight in your lower back, stand up a little bit more. Really push your bum out. Arch your back out. Well done. Okay. Now we're going to be going on to the other side of our hip raises, grab your half, I mean your balancing ball, whatever you have, ready, and dip, and crunch, and dip, and crunch, dip, crunch, when you crunch, really bring your knee to your elbow, Don't let your elbow do the work, let your knee and thigh and core do the work. And dip, try to touch your hip on the floor. And crunch, dip, crunch. Last one. Oopsie. Well done, guys. Let me press pause. Very good, we've done a 10 minutes of upper body and core. That felt so quick. Now, preparing for our second last round, we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing our lower body, our lower body and our core. Lower body is always kind of a tough one, but are you guys ready? We're going to start with low squat walks and a kettlebell weight, which we'll be using to pump up, okay? If you need more of a break, pause the video, come straight back, okay? I'm gonna get going to round number three, okay? Okay, ready guys, we've got five seconds. We're gonna do three side squat walks, one pump up, ready? Try to get as much as you can, one, two, three, and push it up. And one, two, three, push it up. One, two, three, power up. One, two, three, one, two, 
keep it low. Feel the burn. Oh. Okay. One, two. I can definitely feel the burn. Oh. One, two. I'm using eight kilograms. But feel free to use four, three, two, or none. But push yourself. Oh. Well done, guys. Next, we're going into good old plank. Now, I'm going to use this for more of a challenge, but you can do the planks straight off the ground. Okay, you know the plank. Get straight into it. Hunch your elbows. Put your feet up. Activate your shoulders. And hold. Make sure that your bum is not sinking too much, not lifting too much. Feel your center, feel the strength, and breathe. Learn to become comfortable with the uncomfortable. Come guys, 10 seconds, you can do it. Focus on your breathing. Slow, deep breath. Well done. Okay, back to sliders, we're doing plie, back lunges. So grab your sliders. You can do it with weights if you want. I'm going to do it with my four kilogram weight. Keep your feet apart. Squat back. We're starting on the one leg first. Two mat for you. Go a little 
load here. And five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, guys. Back to We're gonna go back onto our stomachs. We're gonna be doing circles. So instead of zigzags, we're gonna be doing circles. Big circles. Five in one direction, two, three, four, five, and five in the opposite direction. If you want, you can make smaller ones. Work your way to getting your feet as low as possible. Remember, don't bring your legs up too high. Don't bring it up past your hips. Keep the core activated. Oh, sorry about that. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Okay. Now we're going back to those back lunges on the opposite foot. So this time, I'm going to be jumping on this leg. Now squat back and up.
let's do this. We need to stop it. Back to full burpee. Okay, let's do it. In five, four, three, two, last one guys, full burpee. And go. Remember, look up. Keep it back straight.
Bring it. Oh. And guys, squat down and over there. Keep your back straight.
I'm calculating it correctly, it burns about 400 calories. 490, according to my heart rate. Yours might be even more. Depending on your intensity, on how you push yourself, the more calories you'll burn, the faster you'll become fit. But remember, it's very important that you always remember, be conscious of your form. Otherwise, you're going to do a mount of hit and then you're going to hate it forever because you've hurt yourself. Stiffness is one of the things, which is a good thing, if it's a healthy stiff, stiffness. So, and also, I've learned, and I'm still learning, that you cannot just exercise and expect to lose weight. You need to kind of consciously change your whole lifestyle. Food, sleep, most importantly, your mental state. Thinking more positive thoughts, you know, and uh, being good to yourself. All of these things complement the journey that you envision for yourself. And uh, a good way to start is by being aware of your form every time you do a workout. So well done guys. If you guys enjoyed this workout, please feel free to leave comments if you want any other workouts like this. More challenging, longer workouts, um, as well as shorter ones. And ones that are also specifically targeting certain body groups. In the meantime, have a fantastic week, morning or evening ahead and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Drink lots of water, get a good night's sleep, think positive thoughts because a healthy body and a healthy mind creates an awesomely happy life. Till next time guys, bye!